are Mark Anthony and I'm Tony Mortner and we're just really here to have a little bit of a chat just about life really. London, bit Lo- of London Yeah, chat. bit of London and one thing, because London's a good thing to start on actually, because uh-huh. one thing that we have in common, yeah. I'd like to say, is we both grew up in a bar of Hackney. Yes, yes. And really everyone kind of connects you with Wal- Walthamstow. Sure, yeah. But obviously, yeah, Hackney. Hackney, yeah, I grew up, I was born in Mile End. Oh, right. Okay. So I've lived in East London all my life, always been in the East. Yeah. Um, and then I grew up mainly in Clapton. Oh, right, okay. In Glen Road in Clapton. Oh, Glen Road? Yeah, oh, right, yeah, 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 I know. Yeah. Um, my sister was born at the hospital at the end of it. All right, okay. Hackney Hospital. Yeah. Or is it Hamilton Hospital? It's one of the It was Hackney, I think that's now yeah. Hamilton Hospital. Yeah. So she was born there and um, I didn't leave there till I was about nine or ten and then moved to Walthamstow. Right. And then the rest of that's history. So what was the Hackney like back in the day from your from your perspective? Um, well I was really young, but I enjoyed it. I really liked it. It was uh, it was very inner city and we had a lot of family there because my family are Irish so they came over from Ireland in the 60s oh, okay. and so we had lots of you know friends and family around there that we grew up with and it was quite close knit and that and it was, it was really nice I really enjoyed it and I still go back there now and um, I love it Victoria yeah, yeah. Park and, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, I so love all around then but uh, I was just there the other week we was um, was around Brick Lane way. Right, oh, okay. And that's all changed around there now. It is. It is. It's really sort of yuppified and sort of Yeah, it's all like gentrified. Now. Yeah. yeah, gentrified as <laughs> well. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's it's really middle class now and I thought this is really nice. Right? Yeah, 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 it's really nice. It's that, how you can see how uh, places change over time, and they, you know, they go up and down. Some ones that are up, they go down, yeah. and ones that are down go up. And I think that's definitely ha- happening with Hackney. So did, did you go to school in Hackney for yeah. a period of time as well? Yeah, I did. My sisters, my sisters, my mm. sister and brother went to um, Cardinal Pole. Oh, Cardinal Pole, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was in Saint Dominic's. Oh right, okay. So Saint Dominic's, which was down by Hackney Wick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I went there. Great memories of back the area. The I loved it. Yeah, back in the day. Yeah. Um, I love it. I'd, I'd move back there. I'd move mm. back there. Yeah, yeah maybe yeah. have a house there one day. But um, yeah, as you said, it's changed. It's changed so much. Though. It has yeah, changed yeah, yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. There's so many. What you do notice over the years is how many cars were on the road <laughs> compared to. Like, we used to have races up and down the street. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, now yeah. it's back to back cars and speed humps. Yeah, and, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Everyone's got like three cars in their family, and there's only one house, so it's just everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Oh god. Because what I realise about like Hackney, I mean, I grew up sort of on the border of Finsbury Park and Stoke Newton on a okay, yeah, like, yeah, 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 road. Yeah. I grew up on and road, yeah, yeah right. and um, really growing up, I was just like in a lower working class sort of area, council yeah, flat. Yeah. You know, it, it was what it was. But like like you said, it was very very close knit. Yeah. So I know um, a lot of people from the outside would probably have a degree of I don't know if sympathy is the right word, but they'd probably think oh, you know they're not all that well off or whatever. But we had we didn't know any better. We had like no, family, we had too, love, yeah. and yeah, my mum sort of gave us everything we kind of needed. Yeah, that, that we time. did as well. We and had Christmas, brilliant. you know, Christmas yeah. was a, you put the decorations up, and uh, yeah, no, you didn't think about money or anything yeah, back exactly. then. Everything was free. Yeah, everything was good, and yeah, just all about my mates and football and, yeah, like, <laughs> and yeah. families. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what it was like back yeah. then. I remember. Uh, we used to, it was before central heating. Yeah, yeah. When I lived there. <laughs> and we used to have the paraffin man used to come up the road and we used to go out every right. once a week and we'd have to collect paraffin for the heaters and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, our times have changed. <laughs> and you had the rag and, mo- rag and bone man coming along with his bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't see them now. But, but what I was shocked about is I was on a train and opening up the Evening Standard and the centre pre- page spread in the Evening Standard was them talking about my same block of flats that yeah. was now like a complex and I was just like, what the hell's going yeah. on here? I was just like, what the hell is going on is going on here? Now they're advertising this new complex, you know, and I was just and, like, times have really, And really prices changed. have gone up as well. Prices have gone up. So back in the day, you know, the, um, sort of the high rise flats, lifts always breaking down and people just really wanting to get out of them and now yeah. sort of people are dying to get in and yeah they? kind of big tall complexes yeah. our house got We're sold we was renting we was only renting yeah, yeah but our house got sold and um i think the landlord offered my dad to buy it for something like three thousand or seven thousand right, okay. something like that and now it's just got sold a couple of years ago for over 800 grand and now it's worth 1.2 million yeah 
think, my God, only, yeah. only God, with four for seven grand. I know. So, moving. Oh, sorry. I feel like I've just cut you there. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm used to it. Like, I mean, you do it all. The time. Uh, sorry, time. Um, moving on to music. What sort yeah. of music were you listening to then back in the day? Um, well, I was I was very young, but that's where all my um, the main thing I remember about music was Christmas. Right. Okay. And the Christmas hits. Um, Boney M. I loved Boney M. Yeah. Yeah. Boney M. Yeah. Oh, my mum would love you. Yeah. I would be. <laughs> well, I went to Catholic school and I was in church a lot. Yeah. And then they would sing, obviously, about uh, Mary's boy child, yeah. Jesus Christ, and I could relate to it and stuff. Yeah. Um, what else did I listen to? Just all sorts of stuff. I never really, it wasn't until I got to uh, Walthamstow and my teens that I started really heavily getting into music. But back then I, I just loved music playing and it was whatever my parents would play. Yeah, yeah. The Marvel Everyone kids. gets their music online now, don't they? Yeah, that's the point. Yeah. Go to the shops and yeah. sift through the stuff and have a listen in the earphones. They do not know the pleasure of getting on that bus vinyl. with your vinyl or cassette <laughs> in the packet and yeah. racing to I, I could never afford it, but I watch people get on the... Oh, is that a new one? <laughs> Enjoy listening to it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. 